A new report out of Texas A&M shows only about 30% of state prisons actually have AC. Families of loved ones in a Gainesville prison say that there's no air conditioning and they're worried for their loved one's safety in this extreme heat. 25 News reporter Alicia Nespreto has more. As temperatures have reached record highs this summer, they've climbed even higher in most Texas prisons. Con like constantly worried about it. Constantly. I'm always, I'm always trying my best to not think about the bad things. Angel Sire's fiance has been in the Alfred Hughes unit in Gatesville for the last two years. He tells her it gets really hot, they're denied water, and even showers. He, he goes to sleep all the time. He's very, like, a depressive sleeper all the time and he says that when he wakes up um that he tries to sleep all day but it's it's hard and when he wakes up his heartbeat is like racing out of his chest the city of gatesville had a water main break this week but according to sires her fiance says it's always been that way since he's first arrived they're already agreed to pay their wrongs by give, like taking their um their time of their life away their liberty their freedom and uh, I think of it like two wrongs don't make a right. The Texas Department of Criminal Justice denied an interview, but sent a statement saying the department uses an array of measures to keep inmates safe. It said everyone has access to ice and water, and inmates have access to a fan and air-conditioned respite areas when needed. Any report out of Texas A&M says Texas is only one of 13 states across the U.S. without air conditioning in all its prisons. It also reports only 30% of Texas prisons have AC, and units have been shown to regularly reach 110 degrees, and at least one unit has topped 149. According to the CDC, heat stroke can happen in temperatures around 103. Local doctors recently telling 25 News it could be deadly. That can be fatal, so we do take it very seriously. Signs of that is when someone starts to become confused. Um, they may be sleepy, and again, when you stop sweating. That report reveals there have been at least 23 documented heat-related deaths by TDCJ since 1998. Now Sires hopes speaking out can bring some changes, both for her fiancé and the thousands of other people in Texas prisons. I'm not only just speaking on my view of it and my person. I'm speaking of, like, for the thousands of uh, Texas families that don't have time to write or to be concerned about it. Alicia Nespreto, 25 News. Alicia, thank you. As part of that statement that the prison system sent to 25 News, they say they recognize some inmates are at a higher risk because of age, health conditions, or maybe even medications. Quote, those inmates are identified through an automated heat sensitivity score and placed in an appropriate housing area that is air conditioned. According to the study, as of August 31st, 2020, there were nearly 12,000 inmates who were scored as heat sensitive and designated at cool bed priority offenders. But at the time, about 2,600 of those with the designation were lacking those cool bed access.